following video, I'm going to answer the OCR call for January 2007 question 10. It's the second video I've done uh, in regards to the answers to the vectors questions in call 4. Okay, let's take a look at the question. It says the following. The position vectors of points P and Q with respect to the origin are as follows. Find the vector equation of the line PQ. Before I launch into these questions, I'm always going to start with a diagram. Okay, so um, the important point, P is a point in space, capital Q is a point in space, and the vector to get from the origin to P is this, and the vector to get from the origin to Q is this. So I'm going to draw a quick picture, not, not trying to make it look accurate at all. So here's my origin, this point here. Um, to get to point P, I'm going to call that point P, I'm going to call that point Q, okay? So, to get from O to P and to get from O to Q, okay, I'm going to just make Q a little bit different so it doesn't look straight, are as follows, and that they're the vectors, I'm going to call that vector there little p, I'm going to call that vector there little q, and it's given by five, uh, p is 5i five five uh, plus 2j minus 9k, and little q is the following. Okay, Find the vector of the equation of the line p, q. Okay, so I'm trying to find an equation of the line uh, that goes between p and q, Okay, in, and in particular in that direction as well. Okay, So, the first thing I want to do in order to find a vector equation of a line, I have to find a position on that line, and certainly point P is on the line PQ. Okay? Also, I need to find a direction on that line, and the direction uh, getting from P to Q gives me a direction on that line. Okay? So the vector equation of line, just in general, first of all, the equation okay, is going to be something of this form. It's going to be the point P the point in space P plus uh, a certain lot, I'm going to call it, uh, let's call it um, lambda for a number, times whatever the vector P, uh, PQ is, the vector from P to Q. Okay, so it's going to be the point in space P plus uh, a number times the vector PQ. Okay, let's find the vector uh, PQ. I'm going to do this on, on another page here. So I'm going to take this diagram with me. Okay, I'm going to take that diagram with me and I'm going to try and work out the various components. Okay, so firstly, let's work out PQ, the vector PQ up here. I'm going from P to Q. Okay, I can work that out by taking the uh, vector uh, q that got me from o to q and subtracting the vector little p that got me from o to p. That will always give me the vector pq. q take away p. I'm going, if I want to go from p to q, I go back p minus p and then I go along q. So q take away p. Let's work that out. Well, um, q was 4i plus 4j minus, so 4i. Um, I'm going to go, so it's 4, 4, minus 6, so 4, 4, minus 6, I'm going to write that as column vectors, I find it easier, and P is 5, 2, minus 9, so that's going to be 5, 2, minus 9. Subtract them from each other, 4 minus 5 is minus 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, and minus 6 minus minus 9 is minus 6 plus 9, which is 3, okay? So this vector here is given by that. And I said that the vector equation of the line is the is a point on the line P, and P is the point uh, 4, 4, minus 6 in space, okay, plus lambda lots of this direction, which I now know is minus 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so that is the vector equation of the line, which I'm going to call R. Um, so... It's given like that. Now, I could write that in different ways, just uh, for your interest. I could combine uh, these and say that it's 4 minus lambda, 4 
plus 2 lambda multiplying the lambda in, or minus 6 um, plus 3 lambda. That's another way of writing it that would be perfectly acceptable. Or I could write it with i's, j's, and k's. I could write it as 4 minus, 4 minus lambda, lots of i. I could say plus 4 plus 2 lambda, lots of j, and plus minus 6 plus 3 lambda, lots of k. All of those are equivalent answers to the same question. But I would have probably left my, my answer like that. Okay, part two talks about a different vector um, and a, a different point in space. It says a different point in space, point T, is given by the position vector i 2j minus k. Just to remind you what the position vector means, that means from the origin, if you go 1i, 2j, and uh, one, uh, minus 1k, you get to point T. It asks, rather peculiarly, for the vector equation of the line OT. Well, the vector equation of anything, let's put, put O here and T here, okay? So always draw ourselves a nice picture just so we know what's going on. The vector equation of this line, okay, is a point on the line plus uh, a, a scalar times the, ve uh, the vector in the direction of the line. So, a point on the line is certainly the origin. So, 0, 0, 0 plus a certain amount, plus a, a scalar, I'm going to call this this time mu, lots of the vector from O to T. Now, the vector from O to T is, it can be given by the position vector uh, T is 1i, 2j, and minus a 1k. Okay, so combining these, these are just adding zeros, it doesn't make any difference. The vector equation of the line is mu, 2 mu, and minus mu. So there's the vector equation of that line. So we've done the first part. It asks us to show that OT, okay, OT is perpendicular to PQ. So if we want to show OT is perpendicular to PQ, the direction of OT, okay, times the direction of the line PQ, uh, the scalar of those two, must be zero. So what direction is the line OT going in? Well, the direction of OT, I'm just going to write that down, is going in the direction 1, 2, minus 1. Okay? And the direction of PQ, well, what is the direction of PQ from our previous work? PQ is going in the direction minus 1, 2, and 3. So it's going in the direction minus 1, 2, and 3. Now, two lines are perpendicular, if and only if, their direction components, um, the scalar product of their direction components, are zero. So we need to check that what, what the answer to 1, 2, minus 1 dotted with minus 1, 2, and 3 is. So we work that out. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Add that. And minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. Minus 1 plus 4 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So we can write, because um, the scalar product of um, directions equals zero, OT is perpendicular, there's a sign for perpendicular, to PQ. And we're done. OK, uh, the last two parts. It's given that OT intersects P, Q, okay? Find the position vector of the point of intersection of O, T, and P, Q. So if the two lines intersect, then the equations of their lines must be equal to each other. So let's go back to our previous parts uh, when we're trying to solve this, and what's the equations of the line? So what's the equation of the line O, T? I'm going to call that R1. What's the equation of that line? So going back, um, OT has equation mu, 2 mu, and minus mu. So it's got equation, I'll take the mu out actually for now. Uh, it's got equation 1, 2, minus 1. 1, 2, and minus 1. Okay, and PQ, what's the equation of that line? I'm going to call that line uh, R2 now. So PQ we said was uh, 4 minus lambda, 
4 plus 2 lambda and minus 6 plus 3 lambda. So it was equal to 4 minus lambda, 6 plus, uh, 4 plus 2 lambda, 4 plus 2 lambda, and 6 minus 6 plus 3 lambda. So minus 6 plus 3 lambda. That was the equation of that line there. Okay, so these are the two equations of the lines. Um, where do they intersect? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these equations equal each other. So that means in particular the x's are equal, the y's are equal, and the z's are equal, or the i components equal, the z components equal, sorry, the j components equal, and the k components equal. So from this, we get that mu must be 4 minus lambda, equation 1. We also get that 2 mu must equal 4 plus 2 lambda, 4 plus 2 lambda, equation 2. And we get that minus mu must be equal to minus 6 plus 3 lambda, equation 3. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, solve for mu and lambda um, that make these equations the same. Okay, so make sure they're the same. So one way of doing it, I would say an easy way of doing it, is probably to add equations 1 and 3. If I add equation 1 to equation 3, I would get mu plus minus mu is nothing. 4 plus minus 6 is minus 2. And minus lambda plus 3 lambda is plus 2 lambda. Okay, and solving that, adding 2 to both sides and then dividing by 2, this gives me that lambda must equal 1. Okay, and then we could substitute in to get what mu is, substitute back into equation 1, and mu must equal 4 minus 1, which is 3. Okay, or you could substitute back in here, minus mu is minus 6 plus 3, um, which is minus 3, so mu must be 3. Okay, let's just check these two work in the second equation. Um, 2 times 3 is 6, this side would be 6, and 4 plus 2 is 6, so it works in that equation, that equation, and that equation. Okay, so lambda is 1 and mu is 3 are the solutions when OT and PQ intersect. So in particular, just use any one of these. Use mu is 3 in line R1 to get what the position vector is. So the point of intersection is when mu is 3 in this equation here. So it's at 3, 1, 2, minus 1. You times those out, you would get 3, um, 6, and minus 3. So if you want to write that in i, j, and k, it's 3i plus 6j minus 3k. You could have similarly put lambda as 1 in here, and you would have got the same thing, because 4 minus 1 would be the 3, uh, 4 plus 2 lots of 1 would be the 6, and minus 6 plus 3 lots of that would be the minus 3 and we would have got the same thing. So where they intersect is 3i plus 6j minus 3k. Okay, and the last question says, hence, key word is hence, means using the work you've done above, find the perpendicular distance from O to PQ, giving your answer in an exact form. Okay, so we're going to probably have to um, just have a think about this here. Uh, Our previous diagram of, of this looked as follows, so I'm just going to draw our, take our previous diagram. Over here, our previous diagram for this whole situation looked as follows. Okay, and we want to find the perpendicular distance from O to PQ. So the perpendicular distance is going to be uh, this distance here, right? It's going to be the d where it meets PQ at a right angle. Now previously I showed that OT was perpendicular to PQ, okay? And I also showed that OT intersects PQ, okay? Um, so, T is somewhere over here. So, I showed that OT was perpendicular to PQ and they intersect at a certain point. And I found in part 
um, 3, the position vector of intersection, which was 3i, 6j minus 3k. So this intersection was 3i plus 6j minus 3k. Okay, so if I want to find this distance here, it's simply the magnitude of this vector here. So part four is a simple question. The, the distance is um, the square root of 3 squared plus 6 squared plus minus 3 squared. Okay, and that's 9 plus 36 plus 9, which is the square root of 54 which if, if you simplify it, um, you take out a factor of 9, you get um, 3 root 6 as your final answer in third form. So the perpendicular distance o, uh, from O to PQ um, is 3 root 6. Thank you for listening to this video. I hope, it found, I hope you found it useful in your revision.